In this video, we'll take a look at configuring device settings for entire site within WebEx Calling Control Hub. The specific feature we're going to focus on is a soft key option. And we're going to take a look at a phone call to see what the normal behavior is by default. Okay, so you notice on the bottom right corner, it offers us a transfer soft key. We want to customize this. So this is offering a blind transfer key without the user needing to switch to page two. As you notice here, there's the blind expert. So we want to modify the default settings for the entire site for the MPP phones. I'm going to look at one more phone just so we can see the behavior again. I'm going to answer the call. And if you notice, it just says transfer. So we want to adjust that for this site to offer the blind transfer soft key option. And what we're going to do is we're going to go, go ahead into WebEx Control Hub. We're going to go to the calling section under services. And then we're going to select locations. And I'm going to select site one. So this is the only location I have for my deployment. And I'm going to scroll towards the bottom of the screen. And we have an option for configure device settings. I'm going to click on. And then for the soft key settings, it's typically offered towards the bottom of this settings page. And then the specific one we want to focus to is the connected key list, meaning when the line is connected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut and paste the blind expert option from the list and I'm going to move it over to put it into the third place on the list. Okay, it looks like I need to make a slight adjustment here. Okay, so that looks good. So since it's going to be on the third spot, this should be offered on a page. Okay, so for some reason it's not letting me apply the changes. Let me go back up. Okay, it looks like there's a red within the Wi-Fi. Let me see what that is. Okay, so it doesn't like that. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. I am not using Wi-Fi, so I'm not sure why that showed up. Okay, and let's take a look at this. These changes will be applied to 15 devices within your organization. Once started, you can view progress on the task page. You cannot make any changes to the device settings until these settings complete. Next step, after the phone process is completed, resync the devices from the control hub or have the users resync the devices from the device settings menu for the changes to take effect. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let this run. And typically this will take a few moments. If you notice in the top center of the screen, it says background tasks running. So I found this might take a minute or two to complete. Um, I don't have a lot of phones in this environment, so be aware your mileage may vary as far as how long it takes for the task to complete in the background. But generally, uh, what I found in my um, lab environment, typically about a minute or two, the task will complete. And once it completes, we should get a message in the bottom right of the corner. Um, one of the things I will be doing once we get notified the task is completed, I will be rebooting the phones. So I'm just going to basically go to each of the phones and I'm just going to reboot it. You can do this from WebEx Control Lab or you can do this physically on the phones. In this case, I'm just going to do physically on the phones. They're right next to me. And hopefully here in the, okay, there it goes. It says settings on all phones updated restart the phones to apply these changes. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go in and restart the phone. So I'm going to go down to device administration, restart. I'm going to hit okay. And I'm going to do this for both of them. Okay. So I, I went ahead and I cut part of the video out so we don't, it doesn't take as long. So the phone did reboot. It was about a minute and a half for each phone. And I'm going to make a phone call to the phone right now. We're going to answer the call. And if you notice the blind expert or the blind transfer in the bottom right corner, soft key is now offered to the user. 
And again, this is a very convenient way if you have a setting that you want to make a change to on all the devices on a per site basis. This is something you may want to leverage within WebEx Control Up. So this is now the second phone. We're going to make a phone call to the second phone just to validate. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and answer the call. And then if you notice the blind X for the blind transfer is offered. Thank you for watching the video regarding making site changes in WebEx Control Up for the MPP phones. Thank you.